Uh, I'm Amy Peck. I am the Senior Director of Enterprise Content at HTC Vive. And kind of like everything about working in the VR AR industry. Um, one of the most notable things is, of course, you know, we're here at VR Days, um, is really the community. Um, we all, it's small enough and it's a young enough industry that we all sort of know each other and it's, it's nice. We help each other. Um, like I met sort of, uh, uh, she's not my counterpart, but she does something similar to me at Oculus yesterday, Isabel Tews, and we sort of knew of each other, but had never met. And, you know, we said, you know, this isn't the time to compete. This is the time to work together for us all to drive the industry forward. So I think that kind of camaraderie in that community is really important, and it's going to set the stage for the type of industry that we want to become. Well, it's a very long story, but I'll try and like make it quick. Um, I launched the enterprise division at Leap Motion, which is a little peripheral that plugs into your laptop uh, where you can control the computer using your hands. And I've always been, my career has always been in like uh, SMB, sort of small business uh, and enterprise and mid-market and enterprise. And um, Leap Motion sort of came out about the same time the Oculus DK1 did. And you know, we combined them, so I was able to see my hands in a virtual space. And that was my aha moment. And, you know, we always, our joke is, you know, you always remember your first time in VR. And that was mine. And it was very impactful. And I, and I immediately saw all the implications. I focus on enterprise, but for, you know, training and collaboration and how large companies could fundamentally change how they do things. And then, of course, the other piece of it was in education, which I think is, uh, we've just scratched the surface. And it's a big opportunity with this technology. Well, I think what's, what's interesting about uh, VR is that, especially if you have industry experience in another type of company or business or vertical, bring that knowledge with you because what we have found is that every company, not only can they leverage immersive technology, they really have to leverage immersive technology. Like, it is coming whether people believe or not. I mean, it really is. And it's going to be ubiquitous in companies. So take the knowledge that you have, look at things that immersive technology can do to improve the type of business you are in if you want to be able to maintain a connection there, um, or learn Unity or Unreal and become a coder and build the future, because th that really is the opportunity. I think there's a lot of different kinds of opportunities. I think there's, of course, the opportunity to become a, an actual programmer. Um, I think also within companies, uh, while they may not have internal development teams, they're going to need business people who understand what the landscape is uh, and innovators. And you don't even necessarily have to be a coder. Uh, on my panel today, I had uh, a gentleman uh, from Shell and he's really sort of the global lead for AR, VR. So his job is to go and find those solutions and find those service providers and then match those products and skills to the, their sort of business needs around uh, virtual training and collaboration. And, you know, that's another opportunity. Um, there's, there's really, a, you know, it could be a consultant for industry. I think there's many, many opportunities. You have to decide what facet of the business you'd like to be in. Well, I think that it's, it's, a, it's a slow adoption. So you have to be prepared to kind of wait out the evolution of the technology. So when the headsets get smaller and they're more lightweight and 5G can really support dynamic uh, delivery of content uh, for both AR and for VR. But um, I mentioned the community before, I think what's nice about the community is, is we're all here to help each other get through these next few years of evolution uh, but then I believe we'll be at the forefront of technology and opportunity. And so, you know, I think this is a good time to get in. I'm so excited about this, and I'm excited to be an advisor and part of it. And what I, I also see is that, you know, the two of you are taking responsibility for building ecosystems that can be beneficial for academia, for companies, for uh, people who want to spin out and start their own companies, because this is the important thing, is, is having a mechanism to learn and really learn the industry from the ground up and then have a pathway, once you graduate from these programs, to be able to go to work. And there's plenty of opportunity, and I'm here and the other advisors are here to help you achieve that.